Maxi, we're up a up against a pretty good Richmond side tonight. They're well drilled behind the ball and they were probably just outplayers in the end, do you think? Yeah, it's they rely on winning really pivotal one on one contests and um, credit to them. They got some great contested ball players and contested markers and um, we felt like our numbers were around the contest similar to them, our contested ball was similar to them, but um, the real key contest that they won, they were able to get into the territory and then once Dylan Grimes and David Asprey and Nick Vlosten could set up behind the ball, it can be quite hard. So um, it was a good learning curve for us. Yes, we've had five learning curves and we're a bit over the learning curves, but um, a good 10 day break to refresh. Um, we've got a good decision ahead of us. I mean, we can either, we, we, we can either give up or we can keep going. That's uh, two options and I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to be keep, uh, going to be digging in and maintaining the faith and um, all about Hawthorne. Our connection going inside 50 has been a little bit of a problem. Um, do you think that's been a real issue tonight, only being able to kick six goals? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the inside 50 count or whatever that was, but um, we have won the inside 50 count over the last couple of weeks and it, it sort of shows how relevant that stat is sometimes. Um, if a side only has 20 inside 50s and scores 20 goals, that means your defence is incredibly bad. So. Um, we've been working on our defence, but mainly we've been working on our DNA, um, which is our contested footy and the stuff around the contest and uh, making smart decisions. And um, that was back for most of tonight. Uh, fourth quarter, we dropped off a little bit, but um, let's see if we can bring up a four quarters next time. Do you think the intent was genuinely there? We started pretty well and pretty hard at the contest. Uh, you only had to watch Jack Liney's first quarter to show that the intent was definitely there. Um, the way he led and the teammates followed. Um, there was some amazing one-on-one -on -one contests. I talk about those real key one-on-one -on -one contests. We were winning our fair share in the first half, but sort of faded away late. So, um, yeah, that's Jack's a tremendous man, and that's the role of the leaders and the, the older guys of the club now. Um, we've been through situations like this before, and they'll come and go, and I'm sure throughout my career I'll be through these situations again. Um, it's all about... Um, your attitude around the around the club and around the game day and um, to be honest I mean I wouldn't want to be one and five but we've been dealt this card and um, it's exciting now for the boys we got a we got a group up we've got to galvanize together and um, all roads lead to Hawthorne. And we had five changes this week and a few structural changes as well do you think there were any positives to take out of that? Uh, there's always a positive when a guy like Jeff comes back from 10 weeks um, with a shoulder and Tim Smith plays his first game of the year um, Jay Lockhart plays his second game and he's only been to the club for six weeks. So um, there's some really good positives. Billy Stretch probably played his best game for the club and um, Alex Neil Bullen, his running power is superb. So those five changes were really good for us and um, the five guys that were missed out were really stiff and um, it's funny being a one and five side, we've got people pushing for spots, which is a credit to what's happening down at Casey. But um, yeah, hopefully we don't have to change the side too much going forward. Though. Thanks for your time, Maxie. Thanks, Benny.